Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be breaking down the trailer for Episode 4, aka Armageddon Part 4, the fourth part of the crossover. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So last night's episode was crazy. My review is up on the channel, please go check it out. It wasn't up at the usual time, so maybe some of you guys missed it out. But I'll leave a link in the top right corner of the screen for you guys to go and watch the video. And it's very important you do so because what is revealed in the episode right at the end is huge. And it leads directly into this episode and what we're going to be talking about here. So spoilers ahead, just a warning. Let's go ahead and get into this trailer. So basically the ending of last episode saw the return of none other than Barry's greatest enemy, Eobard Thorn, aka his nemesis. And that says Barry has arrived to the future in 2031, and he goes into this room, he sees Iris there, standing on the stage, next to what is supposedly a version of Wells, and you have all of the rest of the team members from the future, just situated around the stage looking at them like they would look at say Barry and Iris standing up there and so us viewers are put in the exact same position as Barry were like what the hell was going on here this makes no sense at all because this version of Wells is obviously Eobard Thorn aka the reverse flash so let's go ahead and get into this trailer because it's all about this and I thought I just had to set the stage for what we're about to talk about right at the beginning of the trailer the first shot has Barry with Thorn, and Barry says, Thorn, what did you do? And then in reply to that, Thorn says, I finally did what I set out to do all those years ago. And in the shot, you have Barry and Thorn just staring at each other. I believe they're doing their best to cover the fact that Thorn is wearing something extremely different than normal, because this shot is definitely cropped in, and some people have spotted that actually, in a wider version of the shot, Thorn is in fact wearing Barry's flash suit. So it seems like the photos that we got a while ago where we saw Grant Gustin in the reverse flash suit is because Thorn has become the Flash. Basically, they've switched bodies or something else has gone on where everyone else thinks, oh, this version, this Wells, is in fact the Flash and in fact Thorn. Because remember, in the future, what he aspired to do when he was growing up and, you know, obsessing over the Flash was to be the Flash. And in the comics, he even made himself like a costume that was very similar and so it makes complete sense that he's finally done what he's wanted to do all these years by replacing Barry and being a hero, being worshipped by people like Barry is. So there's a definite body swap situation going on here. Okay, so let's move on to the next shot. We have Barry inside that same place where we saw him at the end of last episode and he's here approaching everyone else who is obviously in complete shock as well as Barry. Then it cuts to the next shot and we have some of the team and again I don't know who the guy is in the background but he was in last episode and I presume maybe he is some sort of new hero from the future. Well we have Cecile on the left here and Ryan Choi returns after his first appearance in Crisis on Infinite Earths and it seems like he's about to suit up. He's tapping something on his wrist which will probably activate his suit, which then moves on to a shot of Ryan Wilder fully suited up in a Batwoman suit. Obviously, she got changed really, really quick because she was just like her normal Ryan Wilder self at the end of last episode. And to be fair, when I saw her, I was like, oh, Ryan's here. Like, I kind of forgot for a minute. And then she like showed up and she was with everyone else. I was like, oh yeah, she wasn't in crisis. So it's nice to see her fully integrated with the team. But in the background, we see Iris, who is holding a gun in Barry's direction, just like she would if, say, Reverse Flash came in the room. Obviously, she's going to want to try and defend everyone else. And so that definitely leads into the idea of Barry being Reverse Flash in the future and them having switched places. Then we move on, and we're right at the start of the episode because this is literally the same setup as we ended. We have Thorn here, obviously in the disguise of Harrison Wells and Iris in the background, who are in fact husband and wife now. And so Thorne is literally one in every way. He's become the Flash, he's become Barry, and he's even got Iris. He literally stole Barry's wife, not only his identity. So then in the voiceover dialogue, what is said is Barry says, it's been you this whole time. Now, when you think about everything that has gone down in Armageddon, you know, bit by bit, some things haven't been adding up. And it seems that 
this whole time he's orchestrated all of this including what Despero is doing as he's framed Barry in the future for doing these terrible events so that Despero comes back and Despero is hunting after Barry to stop him in the past and actually kill him so that basically takes Barry out of the equation for Reverse Slash so he can live happily ever after pretty much. So now we see the return of Damien Dark and Damien Dark is here he is back, it's been quite a while since he appeared in the Arrowverse, but it's nice to see him, although I wasn't a fan of him in Arrow Season 4, he was better in Legends, and now he's back and it seems somehow he knows what's going on with Thorn, and maybe Barry pays him a visit in this episode. So he's here, and he's inside a building, looks like there's a piano in the background, there is like a sofa, and it seems like he's putting some roses into a vase, and then we cut to another shot, and he's actually talking and it seems like he's using his powers because of the way that he's using his hands and he says oh it gets so much better and this is obviously taken out of context but in the context of the whole trailer it pretty much means yes reverse flash has been doing this this whole time but it's even worse than you think and so obviously as we go into this episode we're gonna get bit by bit more and more information about how exactly Thorn has been orchestrating things. Now you have to remember, as I mentioned in a couple of videos, everything that has happened in these first couple of episodes has been very, very concrete. For instance, Barry attacking the citizens. This is not a good publicity stunt for Barry as Central City's protector because he's supposed to have the trust of the people and now no one trusts him. And also you have the death of Joe, which is 100% permanent in this case in this timeline obviously Barry's gonna change the timeline and try and alter things back to the way that they're supposed to be but in this timeline Joe's death is very very final and it's been over six months and so obviously that got us thinking how can Barry forget about something so significant for six months and remember absolutely nothing so on top of that we had Star Labs which has been quarantined and obviously Despero went in their last episode and absorbed the particle accelerators dark matter energy but also it was set to be totaled so you can kind of tell all these very permanent things are definitely going to be changed if Barry is successful in stopping Thorn so let's move on to the next shot in the trailer we have a shot of Ryan Choi again it's just like a small little moment I don't know where he is but it seems maybe Barry gets round to the future team who we saw at the end of last episode. So that is Ryan Choi, Ryan Wilder, Alex Danvers and the rest of the team Flash by somehow proving his innocence. As I'm pretty sure all of them are going to end up teaming up and trying to take down Reverse Flash together. It may not be till the end of the episode, but we'll just have to wait and see. So Barry's going to be doing some snooping around Central City. It seems like he is visiting someone. I can't pinpoint the exact location of where he's at, but he's in someone's apartment and he's wearing a baseball cap. Seems like he's going undercover. Could he be meeting Mia Smoke, for instance? There is always that possibility. She's a future character. Yes, normally she doesn't come from like the decade later, but there's always a chance. Or it could be one of Thorne's team members that we saw at the end of the episode that has basically come to the realization, oh, maybe something great is going on here and there could be timeline changes. And that person could definitely be Iris because remember she has the lightning rod connection to Barry and she would be able to tell if Barry was the real Barry or if Thorne was actually Barry. But talking of Iris, we have a shot inside of her apartment it seems and there is a big bright light coming from above and in front of her as well. So it seems like maybe some sort of big battle is going down between Reverse Flash and The Flash. And it has to be emphasized, the final battle isn't going to be in this episode. It will be in episode 5 the week afterwards. So you're going to get some sort of fight between the two of them, but not the big final climactic battle. Okay, so moving on from here, we have Ryan Choi and Chester with the funky haircut, who are seemingly being strangled by someone. I don't know if it's someone's powers, that's what I would presume but we can't see whoever it is in this shot. Then we go back to the start of the episode. We're going to have Batwoman and all of the rest of the team trying to take on Barry, it seems, as it looks like it's in the same location. Although, I guess they could go back to the location later and try and take down Reverse Slash. But you can tell a lot of stuff is going down here and there is some sort of fight scene going on. And it's really cool to see Ryan Wilder in The Flash. Okay, we have Allegra and Alex Danvers right here who are slammed to the ground in the midst of this battle. 
and Barry also, at the end of the trailer, is flung across the room and he smashes into something. Now, this is definitely against Reverse Flash or one of the people surrounding him. So, Reverse Flash, the final line he says in the trailer is, I've won, I finally won, who's faster now? Wow, I'm so excited for this episode. Hopefully you guys are. If you are, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any videos as we'll be making lots of Flash videos this week talking about what happened in this last episode and also what is going to happen in episode 4 because so much can be theorized about right now. But for now, I'm going to leave you guys here. Please click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.